Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheAlignLover.com. I have another video for you in my intro to the McJimsy style type series. Today we are taking a closer look at the romantic, and if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Just to give a little brief overview of Harriet McJimsy's philosophy, she used the yin-yang spectrum to assess not only physical traits, but also more expressive traits like mannerisms, persona, voice, and expression, and all of this had to be contemplated in order to create the most authentic personal style and expression. In the McDimsey system, the romantic is actually an intermediary type. It sits closer to the middle between extreme yin and yang, but romantic is more yin. It has the yin delicacy, femininity, but it also has the yang dignity and theatricality. So let's go over the characteristics of the romantic as described by Harriet McJimsey in her book from the 70s. So if any of this sounds a little bit outdated or impossible, it's probably just indicative of the societal pressures and beauty standards at the time. And please remember that essences are best approached more like archetypes. You don't have to resonate with all of it with 100% of the descriptions 100% of the time. So the body of the romantic is average in height. The body tends to be slender but gracefully rounded with a slim waist, relatively full bust and slender long legs. The posture is willowy, relaxed, and graceful. The face shape tends to be a heart, triangle, or slightly rounded. The eyes are large, luminous, with long lashes. Brows are arched. Nose is delicate, maybe slightly upturned. Mouth is full, curved, slightly parted. Hair is very lustrous. The expression is flirtati flirtatious, charmingly feminine. The voice is soft and feminine. The gestures are slow and relaxed and the perceived maturity is over 20, but never old. So here are her examples of women who resonate with the romantic essence. Liz Taylor, Jean Shrimpton, the Gabor sisters, and Anne Margaret. And please remember that it is very rare for someone to resonate only with one essence. You probably have one, two, or even three essences that you resonate with a lot and that need to be honored in order to really create that personal expression. Let's get into a little bit of the general romantic costuming. So the silhouette is basically going to emphasize the bust and the waist, that hourglass shape. So fitted waistlines, even empire waistlines to further accentuate the bust line, um, gathered waistlines, any details around the neckline or bust, that's great. Uh, the overall shape is going to be softly tailored with restrained draped curves. The details are softly blended florals, lace, sheer veiling, um, rococo kinds of ornateness and intricacy and the texture of the fabric is going to be rich soft and lustrous anything that's going to create that body skimming fluidity and that plush sensuality all right let's get into some romantic costuming specifics mentioned in the book necklines include soft shaped collars with the neckline and bust emphasis being key when it comes to detail or overall outfit focus. This includes low rounded necklines, off shoulder necklines, chiffon scarves, shirt waist styles with delicately pleated skirts, full soft gathering at the waist, gathered sleeves and delicate bows are also mentioned. The shoes are going to be high heeled, plain but dainty and delicately cut and these soft and lush kinds of materials and for more formal wear she mentions beaded or bow accessories being great on shoes accessories include dainty but lavish jewelry cut stones crystals or precious stones in curved lines long gloves pouch or satchel gathered bags and mink capes and the flowers that resonate with this essence are orchids camellias and red roses so here we have many of these details in these dresses, lots and lots of bust and waistline emphasis, lots of gathered fabrics, um, 
soft florals, very yin, very fluid, very soft. Here are some very luscious kinds of shoes in a brocade. Here is a velvet satchel bag. Here is a lovely, very silky scarf that will again create more emphasis on the bust line and waist. Here is an example of delicate but lavish jewelry. And here, again, more of that accentuation. So again, um, these are just details mentioned in the books and it helps to just look for the patterns that work for you and then try to find them in clothes that also suit you really well. So that was it for my little intro to the romantic essence. Again, in this series, I want to stay very close to the source material. So in future videos where I discuss essence, I will go more into my own interpretations and examples. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.